Welcome back, Family of Light. It's Davida from Medium of the Light Tarot. All right, Cancers, this one is for you. This is the After Tarot. If one is interested, this was the deck that wanted to come out for you guys. Now let's see what Spirit has in store for you. Now, if this one doesn't resonate with you, go and check out my playlist for other Cancers and our Crosswatcher list. So the overall here, there is an ending and a new beginning. So this is you, this is them, and this is the storyline here. So for you, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. This is about collaboratively, collaboratively working together. And here is the Eight of Swords. It's kind of self-purgatory. But in this one, this is the After Tarot, where someone is actually coming to assist you in your... Um, your mental time of need, talking you through things that you, you think is happening here. And it shows here with the Two of Swords, which is a stalemate. You might even be dealing with two people because there's this particular card for the Two of Swords. is two men fighting over what seems to be a woman. And then here in your persons, there is the Three of Cups. So either one of you or both of you have someone else that's involved. And with that Ace of Pentacles, it's wanting to be able to offer something solid, but not knowing who you want to offer it to. With this Queen of Cups here is the Fool. You want to start again. You want a fresh start. With your person, there's the Death card, the Three of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Your person does, you know, have regrets that this is over, but it's almost like, you know, and flip the storyline as it reads here for yours, but they're definitely hurt by the situation, by this, this choosing and wanting to be able to offer a solid grounded beginnings of love. Now I was wondering if this was going to show up and here it is. There's the Empress and the Emperor and here's justice and a broken heart. So your person does think of you as a divine counterpart. Your person feels a little hurt. Now guys, are both of them seeing another person as well? For the majority of you, yes. You guys might have gotten together when you were both married or boyfriend, girlfriend, or he, she, they, whatever it is. But there is definitely some sort of a divine connection here with this and here it is. Here is the Three of Cups here with the Tower card. There was a decision that needed to be made or needs to be made here. Someone's going to have to choose between someone else. It looks like you here are choosing or trying to choose. Looks like your person might be too. Are they hoping that you choose them? And they're scared that you will not. They still have hope. They still have love. With the Emperor comes the Seven of Pentacles, working on your money, waiting for things to grow, knowing that something doesn't happen all at once. With this Justice card is a victory. Someone's definitely hoping that they get chosen. And with this Broken Heart comes the Dark Knight of the Soul. wanting to hold on to what one has and wanting a commitment or someone's in a commitment. I can tell that both of you were heart wrenched. You're confused, it seems. And like I said, flip the storyline as it reads. But, you know, you seem very confused and so did they. They want to be chosen. Now, here's the Hierophant. You know, orthodox commitment, marriage, and with the world card here for the overall, 
there is the two of pentacles trying to stay balanced trying to see in the future and what's going to be happening there is wish fulfillment here and there is the knight of swords so you know whoever is making the decision will be coming towards you in a quick manner to let you know what is going on there's a new perspective that has been gained here with the hanged one if this is resonating for you please make sure that you give this a thumbs up and subscribe there's going to be an offer of love here but it's going to come with a little bit of trepidation but this is kind of after the the fight discussing not that you necessarily thought you might have but you know this is kind of like the after after the drama and then here comes the king of cups somebody's trying not to lose hope here but with the star card they're your person's on edge or is it's you who's on edge now guides okay i was asking like who are they going to choose and here's the six of cups the twin flame soulmate connection where you know, someone's coming back from the past or a past life. So that is good. Now, here's the high priestess. Keeping quiet, keeping to yourself, manifesting what you want. What is your person's true intentions here? Wow. Wow. The Four of Wands. This is the Twin Flame Soulmate Connection Celebration and Commitment. So if you're the one waiting for them to show and make their decision, it looks like they're going to choose you. Or you're going to choose them. It's just about a matter of time waiting for one's ships to come in. There's their strength. And being able to keep the mind calm and not running amok with all, all of these scary thoughts. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have trust. You deserve love and you are lovable. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Now tell me more about this, guides. The deception is not knowing. You know, if it's you who's trying to decide, you don't want to hurt the other person. But I feel like you kind of... Yeah, you're having a real hard time here. This is pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Now go ahead and tell me about that, guides. Okay. So what I'm hearing, if you're the one who's trying to decide here, there's, and it's interesting because they drew my eye to this figure here, and it's hard to see in this light, but it's like a ghostly figure holding a, a white flower. And what I'm hearing here is there's something that you're not stopping and seeing. That would be another perfect way of trying to figure it out. If you're torn between two people, what is the red, the red light or the red flags that you've seen with one person and the other? You know, even write it down on a list. What I'm hearing is your um, your foggy thinking and your lack of being able to make a choice, and remember, this could be your person. There's something out of obligation and there's something out of love. So it says, very soon, <laughs> clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. <laughs> oh, I love it when a plan comes together. It says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. But if you're not focusing and you're not releasing your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. 
So you know what you want to do. You want to choose this person here. You just have to release your ex and really get clear with yourself. Children, your love life is being affected by children. For some of you, you might have a child that is involved or children, and that's a part of the, the hang up here. But you're gonna have to follow your heart on this because you know, you know what you want. You know, you, you, you know, you know, definitely at a crossroads. That's a crossroads for sure. There's mute and refocus. Yeah. Refocus your mind and figure out what's going on. What I heard while I was putting these down is your person's not going to wait too long. So don't be taking too long to make a decision. I'm hearing that your person just might go, screw it. I'm not going to play second fiddle. And that's the momentary read that I'm getting. But do not be taking too long in the stalemate. Okay? What is it that your person wants you to know? Material world and stuck. Money could be an issue as well for you, why you would have to stay with the other person. And possibly some pride and ego. And religious. I mean, it could be a whole slew of things that is happening right here. But what I'm clearly hearing is don't take too long because then your person just might go, hmm. And then you'll be settling for someone who you really didn't want in the first place. You know, you were staying probably out of obligation or fear, you know, but if you're feeling like you want to be with this person and you're, you know, if the tables are turned, then you're obviously hearing their conundrum, but the union is going to be had. Do you want to have a full on love or do you want to fake it and have pride and ego be in the way? Because you've got a chance here with the soulmate to be inspired. So, of course, you were the ultimate discerner here. But, you know, don't take too long. Because then your person is going to feel more and more abandoned. Now, go ahead and ask yourself a yes or no question. The answer is no. what is it that the watcher needs to know to move forward convention and discrimination yeah this is your choices here not really choices but you know this is a card of choices with this if I can pick it up discrimination card here it's also discriminating against you know w which one you want to choose do you want to live that conventional life or do you want to, you know, go for what you want, what your heart wants? What does your heart want? Get out of your head because, you know, swords are represent the mind. Get out of the head and get into your heart. Yeah, you just want harmony and you don't want drama and you want to stay with this, the person that you want to be with. And there is some sort of a religious situation here, influence. So follow your heart. Don't follow your head, follow your heart. Because in the end, that's what's gonna matter. You want the most favorable companionship for your heart, not your head. And of course there's other people and other things to consider, but your person just wants you. So make sure you let them know that you want them as well. Okay. All right, guys, anything else? Okay, they want me to. Oh yeah, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I want to use this and this. So here's temperance, divine timing, 
and the victory card. I'm going to pull some cards here. What is it that will be the final outcome? Okay. They're saying, why don't you pull a card for staying with the person that you were already with. There's the tower card and communication. Make sure you're, you're going within and going deep. Now, if you go with the person that you want to, to truly go with, this new person, what will be the final outcome with that person? A new beginning and the Queen of Cups. <laughs> and again, the Empress. So it's choosing that divine couple. You know, going for the new beginning and being full of love and not in your head. All right, Cancers, I hope that that was helpful. And I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye for now.